Happy Monday. Today's miracle story comes from a show called It's a Miracle. And it's the beautiful story about a young boy who nearly dies in the woods, but is saved by the very animals that he set out to hunt. I hope you enjoy the story. The Eagle's Nest Wilderness in Colorado's Rocky Mountain National Forest is known for its rugged beauty, but according to search and rescue teams like Patty and Dan Burnett, it's also known for its dangerous and unpredictable weather. The weather can change drastically, especially when you get above 10,000 feet. You can be on one side of the mountain and you're getting up towards the ridge, and sometimes you can see the storm coming in from a distance and in no time at all, you can be in serious trouble. In 1992, an amazing event occurred in those mountains, something even more unpredictable than the weather. Derek Patton and his son Ryan went up to the mountain for a day of hunting, but sometimes during the morning, Ryan got separated from his father. As hours passed, the temperature dropped, Derek was fearful of his son as he was dressed only in light summer clothes. At around three o'clock, Derry's search didn't succeed, so he decided to go down the mountain to get help to search the area. Patty and her, and her search team, along with the help of a rescue dog, were all alerted by the local sheriff's department. They all began to search and brought with them plenty of warm clothing. They were all worried that Ryan's clothing condition will lead to hyperthermia. Hyperthermia is an insidious thing as you can freeze and die in the middle of summer because of it. All that needs to happen is for your body's core temperature to drop a few degrees and your body will shut down and die. After hours of searching, there was still no sign of Ryan. To add to the nightmare, snow began falling. With hopes fading, the search had to be canceled off for the night due to weather and disability. His father's fear got worse given that Ryan was there all alone in the cold. The next morning, Dan and Patty were joined by another veteran tracker, Greta Sloan, and her dog, Cello. Cello picked up the scent quickly and after only 30 minutes, Greta followed him down to the bottom of the hill where Ryan was found. Greta offered Ryan water, gave him some food, and at that point, Ryan was indeed in dangerous state of hyperthermia. There was no earthly reason why this boy, why this boy should be alive. Greta noticed two mysterious patches of melted snow nearby. While they waited for help to arrive, Ryan shared his miraculous story of survival. In the words of Ryan, I was pretty scared. I didn't know what was going to happen, not having anyone there to help me. I could hardly talk. My throat was sore from hollering. Terrified, alone and freezing, Ryan knew he needed to find shelter. He took refuge under a lush tree to get as much cover from the snow as he could. Exhausted, Ryan fell asleep but sometime in the middle of the night, a strange noise woke him. As his eyes adjusted to the dark, Ryan saw there were two large elks nearby. He tried throwing sticks and pine cones to chase them away, but they kept coming back. Each time, they returned closer and closer. Finally, the elks did something that goes against the very nature of wild animals. They lay down next to the boy and stayed with him through the night. They lay close enough to him all night to keep him warm, one on each side of him. And that is how Ryan survived dying of hyperthermia. The story was eventually confirmed when the rest of the rescue team got there and saw that the area where the boy had slept on the ground there were two big thought spaces where two large animals have bedded down. I love the story because who's not to say that if angels can come in human form, why couldn't they come in animal form? If it had not been for the protective and nurturing instinct of these animals, 
Ryan would have never survived the night uh, if he had not been for the heat source that these animals provided. It is stories such as this that are so incredible uh, to be true that leaves us wondering, but they are nonetheless possible. The Webster Dictionary defines a miracle as events manifesting divine intervention in human affairs. And I think you will agree with me that Ryan surviving hyperthermia uh, by the grace of these two animals proves that miracles do and can happen. I am a strong believer that when it's not your time, incredible circumstances will come to save that life. And given that today's Monday, the first day of the week, let that be your theme. Every day this week, make a point to believe and expect miracles because you attract what you expect. I hope you've enjoyed the story. Please remember to subscribe to my storytelling channel and share this message or this video with as many people as possible and help me grow. And I will see you next Monday with another amazing inspirational story. In the meantime, stay grateful, stay safe, and search for miracles. I will see you next week.